Well, rode up to the thinking spot is finished now, or the trail up to the thinking spot is finished. I'm up here with two of the dogs because the third one decided he didn't want to go with for some reason. He's still back down at the bottom. I'm not sure what he's doing. Anyway, see there's snow on the mountain still. Oh, but I'm gonna, you know, there's the littlest one. I'm gonna walk down the the trail to the thinking spot so you can see the new trail that just got roughed in this last week. Switch back since way up up here on top of my mountain. So. Load this up next uh, next time I'm at the hospital having my infusion because they have a high speed connection. I don't. And that there we just came across that was the rockiest spot. And that the guy with the excavator had to get through and he was making the trail for me. He's capable of running the excavator a lot better than I can, a lot faster than I can because we were or I was renting the excavator. <clears throat> would have cost me more to do it myself and have it for two weeks instead of having him come up here and finish it in five days and just pay him hourly. It's the back over, the not back over, but the excavator rentals like 200 bucks a day. I don't have an excavator, so someday when I win the lottery, well, we actually did this with a, a mini excavator. Worked just fine for digging the trail into the side of the mountain.
put a little flat up on top uh, probably next year and build a little cabin up there and then on this little saddle that I'm walking across now I was thinking about putting another cabin right there on the top of that little hill right there flatten it off and put another little cabin up there figure I can rent them out during archery season to elk hunters there's a lot of elk up here on my place and then behind it on the public land that the, the thinking spot backs up to so, there's well just in that one spot there's a little over 33,000 acres of public land up behind the, the thinking spot so you go farther north and off across that public land it joins up to another several hundred thousand acres of public land national forest state and timber company public land or well the timber company stuff is private but it's part of the old railroad grants so it has to be maintained for the public to be able to hunt and fish and stuff on it. You just can't take motorized vehicles on it. Funny, I was looking at the public land in Nebraska the other day, and there, there's a, a forest in Nebraska. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a public land. Maybe it's a state forest. I don't know if it's state or, or state or federal, but anyway, it's up on kind of the north, north central uh, part of Nebraska. And, the land behind my place that's public is bigger than the entire forest that they've got there as public land. I think people don't realize how much how much public land there is here in Montana. And this public land is locked up too. You can't access it from from this end, you gotta go oh, 20 miles north of here to get into there. Um, you could access it from the north side and, and ride down this far, or walk down this far, but, but um, it'd be a long ride. I've done it, but it's a long ways. But down here where I'm at, it's all private that surrounds it. And nobody will let you cross their place to, to access it. So I'm lucky in that my place backs up to it, so I just walk across my place and then I'm on it. But general population is probably not that lucky. And I let some folks come up here and cross my place during elk season, especially if they've got kids and they're wanting to take their kids on elk hunt. I let them come up here and cross my place and elk hunt up behind my place on that public land back there.
but I don't let the outfitters cross my place and, and don't let the general public cross it either so there's really not not much traffic up and down through my place other than myself and a couple of friends and their kids kids get drawn for cow tags this year because that'd be cow elk oh, that'd be a, an easy tag to fill on my place if they get drawn for it off right about here ran over there so if he's not down back down at the house when I get down there I'll have to come back up here and see what his dumb butt's doing it's fine though I own I own that land over there so it's not not like he can't be on it but I got another got uh, a number of cougars that are on this place and they're hard on dogs that's for sure I'd rather he didn't, didn't tangle with one of those because he's kind of a giant giant wuss But hopefully after his last encounter with a cougar, oh, it would have been last summer, hopefully he's too scared of the smell of them now to chase after one ever again. See my place down through the trees right there, or my house anyway. Or all of my place, I guess, but my house is down through the trees down there. One of these days I'm going to have to take a surveying wheel, you know, like what you do plant surveys with for uh, telecom, like when you're surveying telephone uh, or uh, fiber optic runs on telephone poles or on power poles um, get one of those wheels and find out how long this trail that uh, I had done actually is see the trail runs down here and then it kind of runs down the, along the back side of the hill at the back side of my house and it comes out right by my pen that I use for quarantining horses when they first show up and also it's where I put my horses in um, when they're going to go to the fair. Augie's down in there now because she's still in quarantine after her latest trip. just in case she was exposed to anything in the trailer with other horses. She's down there. Bottom 
bottom of the trail. Oh, and I got one of my tractors parked at the bottom of the trail too. I guess I was moving hay around with it the other day. And figured that was a good spot to leave it. Anyhow, I'll stop this just now. Probably seen everything you need to see. Well, we can do one more turn on the trail, I guess. See the final final end of the trail down there where the tractor is. Anyhow, in my messy torn up tent shed. But anyhow, that's the new trail. <laughs>